Good afternoon. We come to the second of our video logs at this time of crisis in our nation. And I want us to think for a moment or two this afternoon about the passage we had looked at in First to Huckle this morning in John chapter 6. In this passage, we find that Jesus had sent out his disciples two by two into the local towns and villages to share the good news of Jesus Christ about the kingdom. There they spoke about who Jesus was and why Jesus had come and how uh, people can become members of this new kingdom. The message had reached the ears of Herod. And the more Herod discovered about Jesus, the more he began to wonder if in actual fact Jesus was simply John the Baptist returned. And so Mark in his gospel in Mark chapter 6 takes us back to how it was that John the Baptist's life had come to an end. And we read this remarkable time in the life of Herod, which I believe was a defining moment, an opportunity for him to do the right thing, an opportunity for him to choose faith and to believe in what John the Baptist was speaking of. We all have defining moments in our lives, whether it's a defining moment regarding our work, Maybe it's moving from one job to another job and we realise that this will have an impact on our life and in the lives of others. Perhaps it's the defining moment of entering into a relationship, maybe even getting married. And we know that this will have a dramatic effect on the rest of our lives, hopefully a positive one. Or perhaps it is the defining moment of what we do with the claims of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Do we accept Jesus as our Saviour and Lord? Or do we reject him? So what was the situation for Herod? Well, John the Baptist had been preaching to him and challenging him particularly about his relationship with Herodias. You see, Herodias wasn't only Herod's wife, but she had previously been the wife of his brother Philip. On top of that, she was also Herod's niece. In other words, she was the daughter of another one of his brothers. So his relationship with her it wasn't only an adulterous relationship, but it was also an incestuous relationship. And how Herodias hated John the Baptist because he dared to challenge Herod about these things. She wanted him killed. And so I believe Herod had uh, John the Baptist protected even by putting him into his own dungeon. On the particular evening in question, it was Herod's birthday. And a party was thrown for him at his palace, to which the great and the good were invited along. So what gift do you give a king? Well, for Herodias, she decided that the gift she would present would be her daughter Salome, who would come and dance provocatively for the king. Herod was so delighted with her dance that he speaks to her. Ask for whatever you wish and I will give it to you. And he vowed to her, whatever you ask me, I will give you up to half my kingdom. So Salome, this young girl, runs back to her mother and she says to her, what should I ask him for? She comes back to Herod and she delivers the words that I believe rocked Herod to his core. I want you to give me at once the head of John the Baptist on a platter. We read that the king was exceedingly sorry, but because of his oaths and his guests, he did not want to break his word to her. In other words, to save face in front of Salome, Herodias and his guests, he would have John the Baptist's head delivered to her on a platter. Saving face meant everything to Herod. Perhaps up to this point in your life, how you appeared to others, how they spoke about you, how they thought about you was right up at the top of your list of priorities. But I think today as we see our nation struggling to come to terms with this COVID-19 virus, I think as we see the scenes in our supermarkets and hear people speak about this disease, I think that there are many who are suddenly realising that their skin-deep pursuit of the things of this life 
are really not so important. So therefore, how people think about us, how we look in the eyes of others, really doesn't matter that much. People today seem to be lost at sea. And surely what they need today is to realise that whilst saving face is not going to help them, and most certainly saving faith will. Trusting in Jesus for salvation, knowing him as our Saviour and Lord. There's nothing better, nothing greater, nothing more important. Someone once said, there are defining moments in your life where the road ahead of you takes questionable turns, but if God is your GPS, you will never be lost.